Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first. My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Gain. So this is the giant screen. Now keep in mind, this is one coat. I'm gonna have to do two coats on here because the wall is kind of, um, has a bit of a texture to it. So it's gonna have to be applied twice. As you can see, I got areas right here and here that have to be done over again. But yeah, it's gonna take two coats to cover this. So I did as much as I could to get an idea of exactly how the screen's gonna look once it's done. But this is my massive giant screen that I'm finishing up here. And downstairs, I got the fan running right now. Let me turn my fan off. So, so far, so good. Um, I have it coated with uh, the Supreme 8 uh, Ambient Light Rejection Screen Paint. So this is how far I am right now in the progress. So I'm gonna have to paint, uh, to put two coats on here so I can get all the nooks and, nooks and crannies. And if I can't get it with, I have to, it's my have to get, I'm getting a, um, a stucco paint roller. So that's what I'm gonna be using. Um, it's not heavy stucco, but it does have a bit of a texture to it. So I'm gonna have to basically uh, hit it twice uh, with this particular uh, roller. Um, but as you can see, there's areas that I missed in the screen, but I'm not worried about that. I just actually went over the screen to see exactly if it was gonna take to the surface. And it actually took quite well to the surface. So this is, using an everyday smooth roller that's not designed for a bit of a rough surface. But once I uh, co finish coating over it, put that last application, it is gonna come out looking incredible. As you can see, compared to the white wall and the Supreme 8, Supreme 8, the, the black technology, just allows the screen to pop. It allows it to come to life. And that's what I like about black technology, black screens. So, uh, already I have the pipe Paint it over there, just the pipe, part of the paint pipe. Now that white area you're seeing right there is actually some um, cables. Uh, I'm gonna actually tuck them back up in and basically go over that with some, um, with some um, uh, spackles. So I'm gonna cut those, trim those off, cap them off, and then basically spackle that in because there's a little hole right there in the ceiling that has to be fixed right there. But just showing you, there's the white wall right there, as you can see. And this is where I started painting in here. So let me move this back a little bit more because we'll have to come back in here tomorrow and finish off some more of it. I just want to show you the difference between the black technology and the white wall. So, so there's a little bit more to go on it, but yeah, I'm going to have to put two coats. Now, I thought about at first building the frame, but the frame would cost me too much money to build on top of that, it's gonna be quite huge. And if I put a frame in, one of the problems I'm gonna have is the fact that I won't be able to get past those pipes over there. And I wanna get the screen past the pipes. I wanna be to hit the ceiling all the way down to the floor. And I'm not gonna be able to do that with those pipes in the way. And I can't reconnect the pipes and put them someplace else. So that's not gonna work. So what I have to do is I have to go in and I have to uh, paint around the pipes, which I just did. And now that white line you're seeing right there, that is the actual, uh, some cable lines right there. Um, I'm just gonna have to tuck back in, cap them off, tuck them back in, and just re -get, go over this surface again. But the pipes are already painted already on that side. But this is just to give you an idea, um, the size of the screen, and also too, how amazing our Supreme 8 coating is. Like I said, this is a one application on a rough surface, and actually it did quite well. Uh, I'll just have to do uh, another co actually coat over the first time and then hit it again the second time. But as you can see, the screen looks absolutely incredible. It came out beautiful. And like I said, this is the white wall right here compared to our technology. This is why I said contrast is everything. If you want the best when it comes to your projection screen setup, black is the best way to go, especially with our technology. And keep in mind, you got other screen paints out there that are black. But the problem with those particular screen paints is that they produce a dirty uh, image, especially when it comes to white levels. I haven't seen anybody do that side-by-side -side demonstration like we have done uh, showing our other black screen paints against high white levels. Sorry, we don't have any sound. As you can see, look at that. Look at the white wall at the bottom down here compared to our technology. Like I said, 
black screens add more depth to the picture, it adds more color, more pop, and that's what you want. And with it having such a high white level, this allows the screen to be able to produce amazing natural colors, more brighter, more vivid colors. Now this is going to look amazing once I get it finished. Yeah, because I was thinking about basically building the frame. But if I built the frame, the problem I had with the pipes right here, I wouldn't have been able to get it to connect all the way to the ceiling. So I want it from the ceiling to the floor. That's how big I want the screen. I would not be able to achieve that with the pipes in the way. And on top of that, getting the lumber over here. Uh, the lumber, the blackout cloth material. The blackout cloth material for the screen because I was going to do a canvas would have cost me somewhere around i think i got something crawling across my yes i do and got a bug we get crickets in here from time to time so i got a cricket that actually was walking across my uh this right there see that we get crickets in here from time to time but yeah so they're attracted to the light it's probably crawling across trying to get its five minutes of fame but anyway yeah it would have cost me money to bring the to bring the lumber in here and then on top of that to build a screen of this size um, also, to the cost of the material for the for surface, would it cost me 60 bucks alone just to do it? And I was thinking to myself, you know what? Why don't I just paint the screen? Because I really getting just missing that pipe and just having that much of the screen missing uh, really kind of bothered me a bit. I wanted to fill out the whole entire from top to bottom and uh, just painted it in. I just came out much, much better by just painting in the screen. Now, look at the difference between the rocks here. And what's down here that's why when I did the first demonstration I was just showing up the white screen some people thought the white screen was the best way to go I was like no 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 trust me when I look at a white screen when I look at gray screens I look at them differently it's a very dull washed out image when I look at them because I'm used to seeing a more deeper uh, more better technology with better depth back up here a bit because the screen's quite big and just see how beautiful it is and see how you can see the detail in the rock formation and look at it down here completely washed out and this is on using my NEC uh, short throw projector now, any areas you see like this, these are areas that are, sorry about that, I got to rush upstairs for a minute, like an idiot, uh, I left soup, there we go, that tells you right there, I do too much as it is, yeah, I left my soup running upstairs, I know I smell something, I'm like, wait a minute, I smell soup, yeah, I'm having a bowl of chicken noodle soup. And no, I'm not going to edit that out. I keep my videos as real as possible. That's what I do. I don't do any editing and all that stuff. You know, what you see is what you get. And that's what I like to do in my demonstration. So from time to time, you'll see me do something that um, has nothing to do with the video. Eh, just because I like to keep my videos real. But just look at that. Look at the difference between the white wall and our technology. It just shows you how much, even if you're in a dark environment such as this, and you have a dedicated home theater set up, using a white screen, a light gray screen, a silver screen, you are just not getting the best from your projector. And you see all the light that's pushing off the screen, that's pushing off all that white light, all that's going to disappear once the screen is completely coated. Look at the size of this screen. It's like I can just walk right into there. And walk right in that spot right there. That is so cool. Just have a screen that's big. No, I smell soup. I was like, wait a minute. I just put soup on. Yeah, you probably think, why would I put soup on it and do a video? I completely forgot. I literally forgot. But I can't wait till this is finished. So 
For me, it's easier just to paint this on a wall uh, than to actually build a screen. So here we are over here. There's the short though projector using my Casio, no, I'm sorry, not Casio. That's my um, NEC uh, short though projector. Here we go. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for your time. I'm Kenneth Burr from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambulite Projection Technology Gain, showing you my giant project. This is my giant monster size screen project. Uh, once it's done, it'll be fully coated with our Supreme 8 technology. And as you can see, even with the lights out, you know, our screen paint just gives you so much more. Look at this. All right. Thank you all. I got to go and God bless.